You're watching UNICEF television. In Mauritania, corporal punishment is widespread, both in Quranic schools called madrasas and in non-denominational primary schools. Violence against children is also common at home. 15-year-old Muhammad Hafed attends a Quranic school in a suburb of Nokshat. Like many Mauritanian students, Muhammad has been beaten by his teacher several times. I've been hit and it's made me detest the madrasa. It upset me a lot because sometimes I was beaten up badly. In response to this widespread violence against children, a prominent network of imams conducted a study with support from UNICEF two years ago. The imams examined the Quran and other Islamic texts and found no justification for corporal punishment. As a result, the imams issued a groundbreaking fatwa or a religious decree forbidding violence against children. And this fatwa has been a, a very important landmark for uh, the communities here in, in Mauritania and has been widely distributed to more than 2,000 uh, schools and religious centers in the country. Imam Hadmain Ol Saleh, a long-time activist for children, played a key role in implementing the fatwa. The imams and those in charge of the Mahatras acknowledge that the fatwa is consistent with the teachings of Islam. Some teachers admitted they were mistreating children and must agree to stop beating them. For more than a year, the network of imams and UNICEF teams conducted awareness-raising workshops across the country. When it was implemented, we realized the effects the fatwa would have on our teaching and now we are working on a new way, which is more productive, and we thank God for this new approach. More time is needed to measure the full impact of the fatwa, but several changes are already evident. More children are in school and teachers are increasingly using non-violent ways of disciplining students. Since the fatwa, we are calmer and more receptive and we concentrate better. When the children come home, they are calmer and they remember what they have learned. <laughs> now that they are not frightened, they want to go back to school because it's a peaceful place. The fatwa may have been the first step, but it's a huge relief and marks a new beginning for students and parents in Mauritania. You've been watching UNICEF television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.